2020 was a year that witnessed the world coming to a standstill and forced us all to adapt to a new way of life as the impact of the pandemic resonates globally. Here at the London College of Fashion on the BA Bespoke Tailoring course, we encourage and equip our students to be the drivers and innovators of the bespoke world as they prepare to be the voice of the future. The digital world has been catapulted into everyone's lives at an accelerated rate and our lifestyle and dressing habits have been reshaped as many of us work remotely, redefining traditional approaches to the bespoke tailoring aesthetic. Since 2018, our second year tailors have collaborated with Scabell for their industry projects. We are delighted to provide opportunities for our students to link directly with industry to aid their professional development and begin to establish their career aspirations. So this year has been such an exceptional year, um, but it's been a great opportunity to embrace um, our collaboration with Scabal. As both staff and students together, we've had to reimagine the way in which we've worked and approached the whole project. The brief was inspired by a chapter in Scabal's book called Drivers of Change, something that's never more fitting than the last year that we've experienced. So we focused on three key themes of adaptability, diversity and inclusivity. And this has been a really great opportunity for our students to focus their ideas as they work towards their final outcome. This project has forced us to consider what defines bespoke tailoring and who it is for. These are all important considerations for the tailors of tomorrow. I wanted to pick a client who was not necessarily at the forefront of fashion and I chose a para-athlete from Texas who is a horse rider. Uh, she was born without her lower leg and her two middle fingers. I initially wanted to design a collection of competition wear which would focus around her prosthetic and the difficulties of finding jodhpurs and jackets that work for her. The concept for this project is lost and hope. I get a lot of courage from the songs of one of my favorite Japanese musicians called Kenshi Onezu, and that is the reason why I chose him as my client. I'm going to explore the diversity of fabrics, um, culture, and also the diversity of different art forms. She's a 25-year-old office worker who has been working from home since March 2020. She's been running her own business in central London for years now. Since working from home, she wanted something that she could wear during her Zoom calls, which was still professional, but she wanted it to really focus on comfort and like around her as an individual and representing her how she's comfortable and how she is at home. So as we embrace the challenge of working in home environments, um, our students have had to adapt and evolve their working practices and processes. And so therefore we've invited them to work in half scale. I was able to really easily hash out ideas and discard ones that weren't instantly striking. The size obviously meant that a huge amount of my details, so my seam placement, my curves, were a lot harder to achieve. With embroidery, because it's a lot smaller, you might not be able to fit the same amount of detail in there. Drafting and actually just making it a lot, lot smaller than how you would usually make it. Everything becomes smaller while our hands remain the same size. It's a great opportunity for us to practice. I believe that once we can get the little details on a half scale correct, it will be much easier when we working on a normal scale. And really force myself to do certain activities that ordinarily my teachers would be encouraging me to do. But I think that it's taught me a lot of really valuable skills for the future. I think it's an absolutely fantastic opportunity because not only are we having people from the industry actually see our work, I think it's really motivated people to be the best that they can be and do the best that they can do. The remote learning helped me to work independently and it also helps me to build up my confidence in my skills. We're really proud of the resilience and adaptability of our students and the work that's been produced for the project. We look to the future with a renewed sense of hope and expectation as our students redefine the language of bespoke for the tailors of tomorrow.